Just looking through random science articles, you might see things like plume erupts on the surface of the sun, or maybe even it's hotter than the surface of the sun. Basically, the surface is everything. Which makes sense, since that is the only part of the sun that is visible to the naked eye. But all this chitter chatter about the surface has really overshadowed the importance of some of the other parts of the star, like its core. And this is particularly troubling because the core plays a large role in powering the whole light show, and is where most of our light actually comes from. In essence, the core of our sun is just one giant nuclear reactor. Our star, dubbed the sun, contains largely hydrogen and helium, and they just so happen to be the two elements that fill our sun's core and power the proton-proton chain that keeps it running. In short, the intensity of the core causes the hydrogen nuclei there to move around very quickly. A majority of the time, these particles speed around without any collision, but every now and then, with an intense amount of luck, a pair of hydrogen nuclei will collide and overcome the repulsive positive charge to form a deuterium particle and other products. Our deuterium then zooms around the core until it happens to collide with another proton to produce a helium 3 nucleus and a gamma ray, which gets shot out of the core. But this is where our proton proton chains split, either going one way to form one helium 4 nucleus or another way to form two helium 4 nuclei. And there are even more ways in which our sun can happily beat its radioactive heart, but they make up less than 1% of all proton proton chain reactions, so they don't really matter. But amazingly, all this occurs in the core 9.2 million times per second times 10 to the 37th power that is, and all this colliding converts 4.26 million tons of mass into energy every second, making the core one very hot reactor, and not to mention an important one too, since it does keep us alive. And all this energy obviously doesn't just stay in the core. The energy from collisions and release of photons traverse their way through the sun via conduction and absorption and reabsorption until they reach the outer surface, where if the timing is right, they will begin a long voyage to the earth and maybe even you. So basically the core would just look at the surface and be like, get out! You know, if that was possible, of course.